Hi, this is Emma from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video, I am going to be showing you how you can install an SSL certificate on your website in Cloud Panel. So, let's get started. So, this is the Cloud Panel dashboard and this is our website, a demo website that we have hosted on our server through Cloud Panel. And as you can see, it is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. So the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a certificate sign-in request or CSR. For that, we are going to go to the main SSL Trust website. Scroll down and click on the CSR and key generator on the tools and services. Or you can just type in SSL Trust CSR Generator in your favorite search engine and then arrive to this page. Before we get into filling these details, you should know what a CSR or a Certificate Sign Request is. So basically, a CSR or a Certificate Sign Request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the Certificate Authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So I'm going to scroll down now and fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name right here without the www the name of your organization, the organizational unit such as IT, the city or town that you reside in, state or province, the two letter abbreviation for your country, just select your country here and then type in your email address. Root length we are going to go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard, and click on Generate CSR. If you scroll down, you will be able to see your private key and your certificate sign request generated right here. Now, it is recommended that you save this in a text file so as to not lose this information in case you need to redo the configuration if you make a mistake. So for now, since this was a demo video, I'm going to keep this window open and not save my files. So now that we have generated our private key and CSR, it is now time to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. Okay, so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage. And as you can see, SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities and provides SSL certificates for all your needs. We make sure to provide SSL certificates at the best possible prices so as to pass on those savings directly to you. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see different kinds of SSL certificates right here, whether you're a single website and just need security for a single domain name, whether you're a business school or organization and you want to show higher authenticity, or you are a big business and you require extended security and to show the green address bar in supported browsers, secure unlimited subdomain names with the wildcard SSL certificate and the multi-domain SSL certificate to secure multiple domain names under one certificate. Now, if you don't know which certificate is the best for you, then you can always contact our sales team and they'll be happy to help you out in choosing the best certificate for you and your business. So since this is a demo video, what I'm going to do now is head over to standard SSL certificates and then click on the positive Commodore positive SSL certificate. Choose the duration. Click on buy now. Click on check out. Fill in these details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment and then click on complete order. Once you do that, head over to the SSL Trust dashboard and then select your product or service right here. Click on Start Certificate Configuration button or alternatively, 
if you are not doing this yourself you can provide the following url to the person doing the configuration for you for now we're going to click on start certificate configuration and head back to the csr generation window or your text file where you've saved the certificate sign request and copy this from the very start to the very end including all the dashes and then paste it right here click on verify csr and if these details look just as you inputted them then we're good to go server type cloud panel uses nginx and then click on next step fill in these details real quick Now, if you have a technical contact doing this for you, please mention their details here. Otherwise, we are going to use admin contact for now and click on next step. So now comes the important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. So the first method of validation is the email method. So you will need to have one of these five email addresses, which when you click on submit, should send you an email containing a link. Once you click on that link, your domain should be validated and your certificate should be issued. The second method is the HTTP file method. So you'll have to create a text file with this theme and in that text file you'll need to copy and paste these contents and then click on check file furthermore if you do not have these directories on your system you might need to create them exactly as they are mentioned here click on check file to make sure that the file is readable and your server displays it and then you will be issued with your SSL certificate the third or the method that we are going to use is the CNAME record validation method. So in this method, you will have to navigate to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name service to. So let me log into my DNS settings real quick. And I'm already logged in. And then we are going to click on add new record under dns management head back to the configuration window copy the cname record completely and then paste it type is sorry type is going to be cname and then paste it in the host window do the same for the cname value copy and paste it in the pointing to dialog box and then click on save so our settings are being updated in the meanwhile you can click on the check dns record button right here then click on search and as you can see our dns records have not updated yet this will show if the dns has been resolved and your record has propagated or not in the meanwhile click on submit configuration and as you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. One more way to access the validation manager in case you're lost is head back to the SSL Trust dashboard and select your product or service. And then click on the access validation manager button right here might take from two minutes up to an hour depending on your dns service propagation speed for your dns records to propagate so just keep coming back to the domain control validation window choose your method of validation and click on submit or recheck button right here just keep doing that every few minutes until your dns record has propagated it has been a few minutes and our dns record has propagated in quite enough places. 
so our certificate has been issued so let's close this up add back to the SSL trust dashboard and then click on your product once you do that as you can see our certificate has been issued click on the collect or download certificate button to view your certificate or alternatively you can reissue or reconfigure your certificate if you've misplaced your private key or CSR. So click on the collect or download certificate button. And then you can view your main certificate, your intermediate certificate and your root certificate here. So the next step in this process is to upload the SSL certificate files to our server. For that, we're going to head over to the cloud panel dashboard and then navigate to sites on the top left menu. Click on manage on your website and then navigate to SSL slash TLS. Certificates, actions, import certificate. Now I'm gonna import the private key. So go to your text file or the window in this case, copy it from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. Make sure you get it just right. And then paste it right here. No spaces. Do the same for your main certificate. Copy to clipboard and then paste it right here. And the same for your intermediate certificate. Come back to this window. Copy to clipboard on the intermediate certificate and then paste it right here. Then click on import and install. So once you import and install your SSL certificate, then you can click on your domain name right here. And as you can see, our connection to the site is now secure. We have successfully installed our SSL certificate issued by Sectigo. So this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on your website in Cloud Panel. Now, I do need to mention that there is a written guide available in the ready description of this video. Moreover, if you were easily able to install your SSL certificate, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.